every revolution starts with a spark. Tonight, we light the squared circle up and engulf the world. Champions will be crowned. Careers will be shortened. Tables will be broken. Monsters unleashed. Tonight, we write the next chapter. And now, Undisputed Wrestling Federation and Ringside Collectibles WrestlingFigures.com proudly present to you Anarchy. Welcome everyone to UWF Anarchy. We are jam-packed to the rafters here tonight. We are kicking things off with a 30-man battle royal to determine the first ever United States Champion. As you can see, the ring is already loaded with superstars, but we still have more coming down to the ring here, as here comes the prize fighter himself, Kevin Owens. And here comes the last minute addition to this matchup, Gentleman Jack Gallagher, replacing Sin Cara, who's out with an arm injury thanks to the revival. And here comes the lunatic fringe, Dean Ambrose making a beeline for the ring. He's already ready to get going in tonight. Here comes a fan favorite pick to win the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. I say this all the time, love him or hate him, he's damn good, it's Roman Reigns. Here comes the man who returned to a standing ovation on Raw. Will he live up to his moniker as the best in the world here tonight? It's CM Punk. As Paul Heyman said, Brock Lesnar is going to turn this entire battle royal into Suplex City. Will the Beast be the one to conquer all the odds here tonight? I don't know how anyone's going to be able to eliminate this man. He even stole the title on Raw last week. That's how confident he is going into this. Braun Strowman. Here we go, getting this matchup underway. Brock Lesnar and Braun Strowman, two of the biggest threats going after each other. James Ellsworth might step up though. Oh, he gets eliminated at our first elimination. 
by the Stormtrooper, but don't turn around. Strowman's got him by the arm and sends him right into James Ellsworth. There goes our first two eliminations. And now the Golden Truth are going after Strowman. He throws off our truth and Punk takes him out with a clothesline. Goldust is eliminated as well. Punk and Strowman with the stare down. Here comes Brock Lesnar. Suplex to Strowman. Nakamura and Reigns are going at it on the far side of the ring here. As Kevin Owens fights off CM Punk in the other corner. CM Punk with the running knee and a bulldog. As Bree Zongo now turns their attention to Apollo Crews. But Crews gets Fondongo out. But here comes Breeze with the supermodel kick, taking down Apollo Crews as a Tommy goes right after Breeze. Nakamura now is being sent to Suplex City, but the Dudleys save him. The Dudley boys try to save him, but Brock Lesnar takes one out and Nakamura takes out the other. The Dudley boys have been eliminated as their former ECW manager looks on. Now we have a stare down between Hideo Itami and Rey Mysterio. As Atami's looking for the GTS, reversed. Hurricane Rana as Kevin Owens held down the ropes. As Xavier Woods stomps down Apollo Crews in the nearby corner. Xavier Woods now meets the Revival. The New Day eliminated the Revival in the Tag Team Championship Tournament. But Kalisto comes to his rescue. Of course, the Revival eliminated his partner. But the Revival now take him down. Here comes Woods looking for a DDT. But the Revival takes out Xavier Woods. He's been eliminated already. The Revival with a fist bump in celebration. But here comes Kalisto with a drop kick looking to avenge his partner. Wait, what's Woods doing under the ring? Kalisto now. Salida Del Sol. He eliminates himself but gets his revenge as Tyler Breeze eats a KO punch from Big Show on the other side of the apron. And Enzo now tries to eliminate his tag team partner. That was not smart. Enzo just made the biggest mistake of his life as Big Show's about to chokeslam him right out of the ring. Wait a minute, Big Boot! That's Big Cass! Cass and Enzo are working together as Big Cass saves Rey Mysterio, or saves Enzo from Rey Mysterio, as now Enzo with a jaw dunzo and a big boot to take out Rey Mysterio. People are not going to be happy about that. But now Roman Reigns and Big Cass. Spear! A spear to Big Cass taking him down as Roman Reigns will eliminate Big Cass. Enzo Amore, this is not good. You've lost both your partners already as now TJP hits a detonation kick and a headbutt from Enzo um, to Enzo Amore from Jack Gallagher. Wait a minute, Dolph Ziggler! Super kick to TJP taking him out. His revenge for losing to him on Raw as Brock Lesnar now takes Nakamura to Suplex City and one for Ziggler and Cruz at the same time. Mark Henry's coming in, but he eats a Superman punch. Will Lesnar get out here? He makes the save. But Rusev will celebrate Rusev Day by trying to eliminate, and he does with a Muchka kick to Mark Henry. But Jack Gallagher gets him from behind. Rusev cannot be happy about that. Wait a minute. He's attacking Gallagher. Gallagher's not eliminated. He ducks under a headbutt to the jaw of Rusev. Sends him right over the steps. And now Gallagher has his signature umbrella right to the shoulder of Rusev, taking him down on the stick. Gallagher comes right back in, but Ambrose has him in Dirty Deeds position. Zigzag! And a Dirty Deeds to Gallagher! Gallagher goes flying over the top rope as Lesnar takes down Ziggler with a clothesline to the back of the skull. And now the stare down between the Beast and the Monster Among Men. Here we go, folks. Lesnar with punches to the midsection. And now he's locking in the Kamara lock. Strowman gets out of it looking for the power slam. Ziggler and Punk took out his legs. It seems like everybody's working together here. What the hell? Where's Kevin Owens going? Kevin Owens is pulling out a table at ringside. Everybody's working together, it seems, on Strowman. Oh my god, what are they thinking here? Everybody's got him out. Throw him right through the table! Strowman's been eliminated by everybody remaining in this match. How long will this alliance last? As everybody, it seems, is turning their attention to Lesnar. But Owens takes out Nakamura over the top rope. Pop-up powerbomb! Nakamura's been eliminated. Everybody's going after each other now as Apollo Crews turns around and eats a super kick from Ziggler. Ambrose now will eliminate Apollo Crews. Ziggler's in super kick position. Ambrose senses it. Elbow to the face of Ziggler. Ambrose now takes out Dolph Ziggler as he joins Apollo Crews on the outside. As Ambrose is drilled with a devastating German from Lesnar. Roman looks for the spear. Lesnar reverses it into a power bomb. Lesnar now delivers a clothesline to CM Punk. Owens looks for super kick. He's got him caught. F5 position onto the apron. Oh my god. Who can take out Lesnar? As CM Punk now comes after Lesnar. Sends him. Splash by Punk. Takes them both out perhaps. But no. F5 position yet again. Oh my god. 
What the hell is going on? Paul Heyman just hit him with a kendo stick. His own superstar, what is going on? Ambrose now, but Roman throws him flying into Lesnar. Ambrose and Lesnar are taken down. Punk is stunned. Superman punch to Punk. Roman Reigns has done it. Roman Reigns is the first ever United States Champion. But what the hell is this? Paul Heyman now is offering the United States Championship to Roman Reigns. Will he accept it? He does. Roman Reigns seems to be a new Paul Heyman guy. What is going on here tonight? What have we just witnessed? If you hated Roman Reigns before, now you legitimately have a reason to. Stay tuned, folks. Up next, we crown the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Championships in a Royal Rumble turmoil match. Also still to come here tonight, the Raw Tag Team Championship Tournament Finals, the Hardy Boys versus the New Day. Interesting interactions backstage. We are getting ready for this Tag Team Turmoil Rumble style matchup for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. The Hypros are already in the ring. We're about to figure out which team drew number two. Wait a minute, where the hell is Sheamus? He's supposed to be out right now. What is going on? Cesaro is stunned. What the hell? He's been put through a table backstage. Oh my god. Bullet Club have attacked Sheamus backstage. Looks like Cesaro is ready to go at it alone. Wait a minute, who, who the hell is this? Natal? No way. Tyson Kidd, he's injured. He can't... Oh my god. Tyson Kidd is ready to go. It looks like Tyson Kidd will rejoin his old tag team partner Cesaro in this matchup. This is going to be a special treat, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go, getting this unique matchup underway as both teams are going at it. Basically, this works like a Royal Rumble, except you can only be eliminated by pinfall or submission. So the first two teams, the Hype Bros and Cesaro and Kidd, as Zack Ryder just delivered a slap to Tyson Kidd. Kidd goes for a kick to the head. Ryder throws him into the corner. Kidd gets on the ropes. Oh, wait a minute. Ryder's going to powerbomb him. Don't do this. Come on. He's got an injured neck. Oh, no. Kid managed to reverse it. That could have been a close call as he kicks Ryder right in the face. Cesaro now is in position. Oh, wait a minute. Kid with a neck breaker to Mojo Rawley saving his partner. And a foot stomp by Cesaro. These two never fail to impress me. As Tyson Kid now takes down Zack Ryder with a drop toe hold. And now flying over the ropes with a leg drop. Beautiful maneuver by Tyson Kid. As Cesaro was already looking for the neutralizer here. But Mojo Raleigh gets out of it, and we're about to have another tag team join the fray. Who is it going to be as Tyson Kidd delivers a crossbody to Mojo, but he gets caught. And who is about to join this matchup next? It looks like it's the primetime players, Darren Young and Titus O'Neil. Not exactly favorites to win this match, but who knows. As Zack Ryder delivers a broski boot to Kidd, and Mojo Raleigh with a forearm to Cesaro on the far side of the ring. And here we go. Zack Ryder and Darren Young take each other down with clotheslines. Mojo Rawley now will square up with Titus O'Neil. Two big former football players are going to square up. Two massive men. Here we go. But wait a minute. Here comes Cesaro with a springboard. European uppercut takes both men down. Kicks right back up to his feet. As Tyson Kidd now is on the top rope. Flying right over his partner and taking down Darren Young and Zack Ryder. But now Tyson Kidd is caught by O'Neill. 
with a kick to the midsection by Tyson Kidd. Here he comes with a rolling Yoshi Tonic. Beautiful maneuver. And now Cesaro's got him in position for the neutralizer. He will connect. Will he get the elimination? Honestly, I can't hear because of the countdown. Another tag team's about to enter, but it does look like primetime players have been eliminated. And it sounds like American Alpha is going to be the next team to join the fray. Currently the, tag, the favorite by the fan votes to win this matchup. So here comes American Alpha, Jason Jordan, and Chad Gable. Here we go. Hopefully they have better luck than PTP did. As now Jason Jordan will take down Mojo Rawley with an overhead belly to belly. Chad Gable now is out wrestling Zack Ryder with a German suplex. Kidd and Cesaro seem impressed. This is going to be a showdown for the ages between these two teams. Lock up by Jason Jordan and Cesaro. But wait a minute. Drop kicks by Gable and Kidd take them down. Chad Gable and Tyson Kidd both kick up. I cannot wait to see these two go at it. We're not going to have to wait very long though. The collar and elbow here by these two. As Gable looks to out-wrestle him with his amateur wrestling background. Kidd lands on his feet however. Tyson Kidd goes for a drop kick but Gable with the Northern Lights. Tyson Kidd with a backslide here, but Gable will kick out as everyone joins the fray again. We're about to have another tag team enter this matchup. Who will it be? We're about to find out as everyone is going at it once again in the ring here. Utter chaos in this matchup. Who's it going to be? It's the Miz Taraj, Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel. Not exactly favorites to win this matchup, but the Miz does like to talk a big game for them. As right away, they are caught by American Alpha. Try to save each other, but they cannot with Germans and belly to bellies from Jason Jordan and Chad Gable. Kid now with a kick to the face of Bo Dallas. American Alpha now have him in position. Here comes Jason Jordan. Here we go, grand amplitude, will it be it? But no, Curtis Axel saves his partner. Here comes Cesaro, flying over and taking down the Miz Taraj in this matchup. Cesaro now, bowling ball to Mojo Raleigh. Tyson Kidd with an outside dive takes Zack Ryder down as Heath Slater and Rhino will enter this matchup. Everybody's going at it over on the close side of the ring to our table here. As Tyson Kidd is sent into the ring by Axel. Axel now is trash talking his wife. But Natalia with a discus clothesline takes down Curtis Axel. Kidd is impressed. Heath Slater sends him back into the ring now as Rhino slides in the other side. Don't turn around, Axel. Don't turn around. Gore! Curtis Axel speared right out of his boots. And that'll be it for the Miz Taraj already in this matchup as Jason Jordan clotheslines Rhino over the top rope and takes himself out inadvertently. And now Gable's on the top. Moonsault takes everybody down by the stage. Tyson Kidd with a tope suicida takes him down as well. Another tag team's going to be entering momentarily. But Tyson Kidd is going to try and get Gable in there, perhaps for a quick cover, before another tag team enters this fray. And no, Gable will kick out, but the next tag team to enter will be Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, one of the more intimidating teams on the roster. They haven't said much, but they have destroyed everybody as they clothesline Slater and Rhino on their way down to the ring like freight trains. Rowan with a massive forearm to the face of Kidd as Cesaro pulls him out of harm's way. Wait a minute, the massive Luke Harper goes flying out, taking down Cesaro. Gable now goes after Rowan and gets thrown right over his head. Jason Jordan runs into the ring and gets run through by Luke Harper now. As the hype rows will now take their chance at it. A splash in the corner to Mojo Raleigh, and Luke Harper connects with a discus to Zack Ryder. As Rowan and Harper will hit the crucifix powerbomb to eliminate the hype rows. Slater and Rhino now going after Eric Rowan. Rowan throws Rhino off, but Slater's got a sleeper locked in. Rowan gets him off over on the stage. Wait a minute. Gore! Gore off the stage! Oh my god, he killed him! American Alpha take advantage with the distraction and will eliminate the Bludgeon Brothers. With a grand amplitude as the Usos now are making their way down to the ring. Looks like they're bringing a stretcher down, but the Usos leapfrog it. And they want to go right after American Alpha here. These two teams are very familiar with each other. As Tyson Kidd with a springboard splash takes everybody down. Slater and Cesaro come in. Slater with a forearm. And Cesaro with the European uppercut. Rhino looking for Gore. He gets sent into the corner. Super kick in an Uso splash will eliminate Slater and Rhino. But now a big foot stomp by Cesaro. And a neck breaker to the other Uso. And now it looks like Rowan's being stretchered out. What the hell? Harper, what are you doing? He just threw him off the stage, his own partner. What is going on here? Luke Harper just left his partner for dead. Oh my god. As three tag teams are in right now. Another one is about to enter the fray. 
as it looks like Uso will eat a massive European uppercut. Pulls him in now, kid with a springboard neck breaker, and that will eliminate the Usos as the Bullet Club enters the final tag team involved in this matchup, Gallows and Anderson. We are down to three teams, American Alpha, the club, and Kid and Cesaro. As Anderson with a massive knee to the face and a suplex by Gable, a big boot takes out Jordan from Luke Gallows. And here we go, it looks like they've got Gable in position, but Gable is fighting back two against one. Alpha's been in there a while as well. Kid and Cesaro have been in there from number one. A massive belly to belly by Gable. But now Luke Gallows has him in position, throws him into the corner. Gable now looks for the moonsault. Luke Gallows caught him. Oh my God, they've got him in position. Here it comes. Boot of doom will take down Chad Gable and they're picking him right back up. Snake eyes into the corner. And now they've got him in position to finish him off. Looking for the magic killer, but Jason Jordan saves his partner now. Throwing him into the corner, looking for Grand Amplitude. This time Anderson will save his partner, and they'll push him back down into Magic Killer. That will be it for American Alpha as Anderson stopped Gable from making the save. Two teams remain. Here comes Cesaro with the uppercut to Gallows and Anderson. Of course, Gallows and Anderson were the ones to take out Cesaro's intended partner tonight. Kid goes for the springboard here. Gallows and Anderson catch him this time, though, and leave him to hang up to dry on the ropes. Throwing him out of there. Cesaro with the roll up, though. But he gets kicked out and into a super kick from Anderson. Cesaro powers out yet again, though. And it looks like they've got him in position. They're going to go for Magic Killer. Kid pulled Anderson out of the ring. A kick to the side of the head. Gallows isn't sure what to do. As Cesaro will pull him into the Cesaro swing. Swinging him around in the ring. You got to get dizzy just watching that. But here comes Kid with a foot stomp. And Cesaro uppercuts Anderson out of the ring. This has got to be it. Gallows and Anderson are done. Cesaro and Kid are your new tag team champions. The general manager of SmackDown, Shane McMahon, shaking their hands as he will offer them up the new SmackDown tag team championships to them. First ever SmackDown tag team champions, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. Wait a minute, Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega is here and he is not impressed with Gallows and Anderson. That is not a good sign. Tension in the house of bullets perhaps. But Cesaro and Kidd have a night to celebrate here tonight as they're the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Stay tuned ladies and gentlemen, the Hardy Boys versus The New Day is up next. Some people are really wondering how long before Omega and Styles finally burst. But nonetheless, we are getting ready for the Raw Tag Team Championship Tournament Finals to crown the first Raw Tag Team Champions. As here comes the New Day, Biggie and Kofi Kingston. Xavier Woods was, of course, already in the Raw Battle Royal earlier tonight for the United States Championship. Unsuccessful, though. Hopefully the New Day has better luck tonight. But they are up against the favorites in this matchup. Team Extreme, Matt and Jeff, the always popular Hardy Boys. Here we go, a sign of respect from both teams. These teams have fought long and hard in this tournament, and now they will lock up Jeff Hardy and Kofi Kingston. Kofi looks to take advantage. Hardy will send him against the ropes, and here we go. Kofi d jumps right over. Off the ropes again now, and Jeff Hardy jumps over this time as Kofi slides under. Kofi Kingston with a drop kick to the face of Jeff Hardy, taking him down. And here we go, New Day sending him into the corner now, already looking to make the tag to Big E. Here comes Big E now. And Big E will send Kofi into Jeff Hardy with a forearm. Big E now with a big, massive power slam to Jeff Hardy. 
And now hitting the ropes, looking for the big splash, but Jeff Hardy rolls out of the way. A wise counter there. And now they lock up in the center yet again. Big E outpowering him, throwing him off. Looks for a clothesline, but Jeff ducks under. Whisper in the wind by Jeff, caught by Big E into a powerbomb. Matt Hardy, though, I think made the tag to his leg. As he connects with a moonsault, Big E will power out. All about those raw tag team titles as Matt Hardy will bring him into the corner. Look to bash his face against the turnbuckle, but Big E gets out of it with a forearm. Now sends Matt into the corner. What is Big E thinking here? He and Kofi seem to have some sort of an idea here as Kofi is reaching for the tag. Big E will make the tag to Kofi Kingston and splash Matt Hardy right into the corner again. Seems that they have something bigger in mind perhaps. Look at this, poetry in motion, stealing the Hardy Boys move. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. And here comes Big E looking for the suicide spear. Jeff Hardy reversed it into a twist of fate. A suicide twist of fate. Oh my goodness. Big E is out cold on the ramp. Jeff's looking for the ladder so he can hit the swanton, but Kofi is distracting the ref for some reason. Wait a minute, what the hell? That's Xavier Woods. He climbed under the ring during the Battle Royal. We should have known they were up to something as he hits a DDT onto the ladder to Jeff Hardy. The ref has no idea what's going on as Kofi is still distracting him. Matt looks for a side effect and he connects. Going into the cover here, Kofi will power out with ease. What is Matt Hardy thinking now as he's heading to the outside apron here? Xavier Woods goes to meet him at the ropes, but Matt Hardy's got him. Suplexing him right on top of Big E, taking both men down. He's on the top rope now. Looks for the leg drop. Kofi dodged it. Kofi's picking him back up. Kofi Kingston, SOS. This could be it. Jeff Hardy, you can see he's setting up the ladder. His signature ladder that he likes to do the swanton off of. Kofi drop kicks him, and Big E and Xavier send him right onto the stage. Kofi now is going to use the Hardy Boys' own weapon against them. As he tries not to fall off there, that would be devastating. Kofi Kingston with a boot drop off the top. Oh my God. As Big E now is running to the other side of the ring. He wants to be tagged into this matchup. Here comes Kofi. Tag. Here comes Big E. Big E's ready to go. Jeff Hardy's now back up already. A tag. Here comes Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy and Big E now staring down. Here we go. Both men with rights. But it looks like it's Big E who has more energy with another right to Jeff Hardy. Sending him against the ropes again now. Tag to Kofi Kingston. Big E's looking for the suicide spear again. Matt Hardy saved his partner. Oh my god, a spear onto the ladder. Matt's back could be broken. Kofi turns him around. And a twist of fate position. Twist of fate from Jeff Hardy. Taking down Kofi Kingston as Jeff rolls out. His brother's back could be broken off that ladder. Pulling his brother off. You know what Jeff is thinking here when he sets up that ladder. His signature swanton bomb. And he's pulling off the shirt. We absolutely know that it's coming. Jeff Hardy might be having second thoughts as he stares out to the UWF universe. Down to his partner, his brother. And here he's going to do it. Swanton bomb off the ladder. Oh my god. Wait a minute. That's Xavier Woods. Woods must have pulled Kofi out of the ring. Kofi trouble in paradise. And this match is over. The New Day with the numbers game advantage. Kofi and Xavier must have swapped spots while Jeff was looking out, having second thoughts there. But the New Day are the first ever Raw Tag Team Champions. As JBL, the general manager, will hand them their titles and congratulate them. Matt Hardy is still stunned on the outside, but nonetheless, we have our first ever Raw Tag Team Champions, the New Day.
We are back here with an impromptu matchup, Neville versus The Miz. If Miz wins, he joins Baron Corbin in the IC title ladder match at the next pay-per-view. Wait a minute, The Miz! Miz is attacking Neville from behind, oh my god. Miz desperately wants into this ladder match, and Neville is already injured from that hellacious deep six last week on SmackDown from Baron Corbin onto the steps. Definitely recommend you check out that match if you have not already. Wait a minute, Neville's still ready to go, it looks like. Miz thought he just won by forfeit. Neville, yeah, Neville still wants to go. The ref's going to start this matchup. Neville's telling him to. Here we go. This matchup is underway. Neville turns around. And here comes the Miz with a clothesline in the corner. This cannot be good for Neville. He's in a bad position already. Miz already looking for it. Here it comes. Skull crushing finale. This match is already over. Not a very good night for Neville, but the Miz qualifies for the Intercontinental title ladder match. It looks like he's back up to his feet already. Neville's getting back up. Miz is not impressed. What the hell? Miz has got him up. Come on, he's got injured ribs. Slingshot powerbomb wraps onto the ladder. The ladder from the Hardys match. Oh my God. Miz, he has injured ribs. Neville could be out indefinitely. Shane McMahon does not look very impressed. Oh my God. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Bullet Club versus Team SmackDown is coming up next. And still to come... Samoa Joe puts the Universal Championship on the line against John Cena. And in our main event, Seth Rollins takes on AJ Styles to crown the first World Heavyweight Champion. Also, definitely hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications to be notified about all future UWF episodes. And check out all of our social medias to stay updated and interact with us. Let's get back to the show. We're back live, ladies and gentlemen, getting ready for one of the most anticipated matchups on the card. Bullet Club taking on five of SmackDown's top superstars in an unsanctioned Falls Count Anywhere elimination match. This is going to be insane. You can see Chris Jericho's in the ring already, and on his way down to the ring next is John Morrison. Two of the top stars on SmackDown, they are also going to be joined by Sami Zayn, Randy Orton, and Finn Balor. Will they be able to fend off Bullet Club? We're going to find out. And this is especially personal for this man, Finn Balor, who was kicked out of Bullet Club in favor of its new leader, AJ Styles. And there is the Viper Randy Orton rounding off this all-star team for SmackDown. Will they be able to take on Bullet Club, however? We're about to find out. All I know is this match truly will be anarchy. Looks like Omega's already ordering them to go in. We're going to get this matchup started right away. Here comes Sami Zayn and Finn Balor taking down the Young Bucks. Cody with a kick to the face of Balor as Marty took down Sami Zayn on the far side. Morrison takes down Cody and eats an umbrella shot from the villain. Here comes Chris Jericho with a cross body to Marty Skrull. But it looks like he nailed his face off the stage awkwardly. Randy Orton and Kenny Omega though are still standing and they're going to face off. What a dream match this is. KO already! RKO already! No, Omega caught him with the Dragon Suplex. That could have been it right there for Omega. But here comes Balor with a drop kick right to the chest of Kenny Omega. Here comes Cody though pulling Randy out with a kick to the ribs of Randy Orton. Sami Zayn takes him down with a clothesline. Marty Skrull now with a chop to the chest of Sami Zayn and sends him flying right onto the stage. This match is going to be chaos as we get a feeling out process going. Balor's looking for the shotgun kick over on Kenny Omega. The Young Bucks pull him down growing first into the post. That's got to hurt. Oh man, it looks like the Young Bucks are going for it. 450 splash takes down Finn Balor. Here comes Jericho with a chair. Of course, no disqualifications in this matchup. Marty Skrull now flying over the ropes. Very athletic 
and kicking the chair right into Jericho's face. Impressive maneuver. Oh man, Marty gets taken down by John Morrison. Like I said, you got to have eyes in the back of your head in this matchup. It's truly going to be anarchy as Omega with an outside dive to Morrison now. Cody's throwing Randy Orton into the ring. Picking him up already, looking for a suplex. But Orton reverses it and throws him onto the apron. And now Sami Zayn is up there, looking for a back body drop. But no. Oh, Cody throws him right into the ladder at ringside. Can someone get rid of that damn ladder already? Randy Orton now with a European uppercut to Cody. Not letting him fall, though. He's pulling him in, looking for the assisted DDT. Super kick to the back of the leg of Randy Orton. And one to the face by the Young Bucks. The super kick party has begun as Omega's ordering Bullet Club to do something wicked, I believe. And here comes everybody going at it on the side here by our table. Randy Orton now with a clothesline to Marty Skrull in the ring. And here comes Randy Orton again with a second clothesline to Skrull. Perhaps looking for the scoop slam next. Randy's got another idea though. Drop kicking the ladder into everybody taking down everybody. Oh my god. Marty Skrull's taking advantage though. He's locking in the chicken wing. Randy tried to reverse it into an RKO, but he's got him caught in the chicken wing. Wait a minute, Zayn with the Huluva kick. I don't believe he was caught in the ladder. RKO! That's got to be it. Marty Skrull will be the first elimination in this matchup. Somebody had to go first, and I guess it's going to be Marty Skrull. Team SmackDown has the advantage to start this matchup off. Randy Orton now is pulling one of the Young Bucks into the ring. Nick Jackson, it looks like. Sammy's picking him up, looking for the blue thunder bomb. Here it comes. No, he landed on his feet. Super kick to Sammy Zayn. And here comes one for Randy Orton. As Omega now throws him right back down onto that ladder. It looks like Jericho took out Omega's legs as well. Here comes Finn Balor with a sling blade to Jackson in the ring. But Cody pulls him out before he can get the cover in. And now he's throwing rights and lefts, knocking Balor down into the apron there. But Morrison sends him right through the steel steps. As here comes Matt Jackson now after John Morrison, but he eats an enziguri. John Morrison now heading into the ring. It looks like Nick Jackson's in perfect position. Kenny Omega, though, sneaking behind Morrison. I don't think Morrison noticed. Looking for Starship Pain, but no. V-trigger by Omega. And it looks like Omega's got him in position for a second one. These vicious knee strikes by Omega, the strongest knees in the game. And there's another V-trigger. Pulling Morrison up now. Looks like he's got him set. One winged angel. That'll eliminate John Morrison without a doubt. No one's kicked out of that move in a very long time. Now it's Jericho pulling Nick Jackson out of the ring and setting him face first into the steel post. That could bust him open. And now he's going face to face with his opponent from Wrestle Kingdom, Kenny Omega. Alpha versus Omega staring down and they lock up. Here comes Jericho looking for the hold, but no, Omega slips under here. And Omega running out of the ring, jumps up onto our table. Look at this, Moonsault takes down Finn Balor and Randy Orton at the same time. Jericho now with the springboard drop kick sends Omega down. And here comes, wait a minute, don't turn around Jericho. Matt Jackson looking for the super kick, but Jericho tackles him. Jericho's got the walls locked in. Cody though, pulling him backwards. Cody into the crossroads. Beautiful maneuver there, as that'll be it for Chris Jericho. Bullet Club is up two to one now. Here comes Sami Zayn, and he's got Cody hooked. Exploder suplex. What the, what the hell? No, not this damn ladder again. Someone get rid of it. Oh my God, they're tearing our table apart too. What are the Young Bucks thinking here? They're pulling Randy Orton over, but Sami Zayn makes the save. Clothesline to Matt Jackson. Here comes Nick flying off our table, takes him down. RKO perhaps, no. Randy gets sent into the ring. Here comes Cody with a beautiful disaster kick to the face of Randy Orton. And now he's picking him up, looking for the crossroads. Wait a minute, Randy Orton reversed it, RKO! He twisted it into an RKO! Cody Rhodes will be eliminated. Here comes Kenny Omega, however, with a V-trigger to the face. Here comes Sami Zayn, ducks under. He's got Omega hooked. Blue Thunderbomb! Nick Jackson saves Kenny Omega from being eliminated. But Sami Zayn now will send Nick Jackson flying into the steel post on the side of the ring there. It looks like Sami Zayn might be thinking the apron DDT. Here it comes. Super kick. Matt was on the apron. Oh my god, no. No, they're pulling him into position. Here it comes. Meltzer driver. That's got to be it. Sami Zayn is done for. Another elimination for Bullet Club, but here comes Finn Balor. Balor just punted his head off. And now Balor's turning his attention to Omega, looking for Bloody Sunday. But Omega gets out of it. Here it comes, V-Trigger. But Pele kick by Balor. Balor saw it coming and managed to counter. 
And now the Jacksons are turning their attention to Bowler. Here comes Randy with a kendo stick to Matt. Nick Jackson eats a scoop slam by the Viper. But here comes Omega now. Omega, oh my god. Pile driver to Randy Orton. That has got to be it. Sending Randy into the ring. Randy, don't get up. Omega's calling for it. Omega's calling for it. Oh my god. He's pulling Randy in. Up for the one-winged angel. Here it comes. Wait a minute. Oh my god! RKO! He reversed the one-winged angel. I have never seen that. But Matt Jackson made the save. Omega was definitely done there. Super kick from Nick. No. No, get away from here. Come on, damn it. Come on. Young Bucks, get away from here. Nick is climbing that ladder. Matt's on our table with Randy. I'm getting out of here. No way. No way. No way. Meltzer driver through the table. Randy Orton is done for. There's no way he's kicking out of that. My God. Finn Balor does not know what just happened. Omega pulls him down. Power bombs him onto the apron there. Twists him around. One winged angel. This matchup is over indefinitely. What a matchup. Just take one more look at that insane Meltzer driver, folks, destroying our table. Off the ladder, I cannot believe that, but Bullet Club is victorious. Real quick, I want to let you guys know that Elite Series 58 is up for pre-order at Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. You can use my discount code, Undisputed, to save 10% on your order. The set is stacked, featuring Dean Ambrose, The Bar, Matt Hardy, Mickey James, and Braun Strowman. Just want to let you guys know, link in the description. Let's get back to the action. Here we go, folks. One of our two main events here tonight, Samoa Joe versus John Cena for the Universal Championship. This match is going to be insane. A dream match that many have wanted to see for years. I cannot wait. These two have been hard to keep away from each other the last few weeks. A very physical rivalry as Joe, you can see, already getting up in his face and taunting the crowd with his Universal Championship. Oh, wait a minute. Samoa Joe with a clothesline to Cena. This matchup hasn't even gotten underway yet. Cena already gasping for air on the outside. The ref trying to separate them and make sure they're both all right to start this match. Wait a minute. Joe, like a heat-seeking missile, takes down Cena and now throws him right into the steel post. Joe's taking his title and leaving. I think he thinks he just got out of this matchup. Cena sees him leaving, though, and Joe is taking a moment to soak it in and taunt with his title. Wait a minute, here comes Cena, tackling him down and punching him right in the face. Cena might bloody him right here if they don't get separated quickly. Cena now going back into the ring, and here he comes. He's taunting for Joe to get back in here. The ref finally able to start this matchup. Cena's looking for the AA already. Joe's looking for the Coquina Clutch. Cena backs him into the corner with an elbow to the face. This matchup's already very fast-paced. Here we go. Looks for the right hand, but gets caught with a Yuranagi by Joe. And now a beautiful senton bomb. Looking for the cover here. Cena kicks out. The Samoan submission specialist picking Cena up now. Looking to hyperextend his shoulders, perhaps, but Cena got out of it rather quickly. Joe with a right and a chop. And now here comes a massive elbow to the head of Cena. Cena bouncing off the ropes. Joe looked for a clothesline. But Cena connects with one of his own, taking Joe over the top rope. Joe pulls him right out of the ring, though, not letting off at all. Joe's got the clutch locked in. Coquina clutch on the outside. Cena manages to flip right out of it. Here comes John Cena looking to spear him right into the steel steps. Joe throws him onto them. Cena with a kick to the face. And here comes the leg drop to the back of the head by John Cena. Beautiful maneuver there. And he's picking up Samoa Joe, sending him back into the ring. Doesn't want to take time to let Joe breathe. And here we go. John Cena with a shoulder tackle already. Here comes a second one. Shoulder tackle to Joe. Cena might be setting up for the five-knuckle shuffle as he picks Joe up for this back suplex. He is calling for it. It's time for the five-knuckle shuffle. You can't see me. 
Here it comes. Boom. Right to the forehead of Joe. Cena's calling for the AA now. Here it comes. Joe. Oh, he landed on his feet. Samoa Joe with an enziguri, but Cena caught his leg this time. STF by Cena. But Joe quickly makes it to the rope. Cena pulls him back into the center of the ring. Joe with a kick to the face. Wait a minute. The Samoan submission specialist locking in his own STF on John Cena. Cena again quickly makes it to the ropes, however. Cena trying to get a breather here, but Joe with a forearm to the back of the head. Joe needs to capitalize while he can, looking for the muscle buster. Cena lands on his feet. Here comes a Hurricane Rana taking him down. John Cena now is looking for the springboard stunner. Here it comes. He hits it. Wait a minute. No. Joe fell backwards. He reversed it into the clutch. Cena's fading. Cena's fading. The ref's making sure. Cena's out. This match is over. Joe has made John Cena pass out. Still your universal champion as he taunts John Cena. Samoa Joe with an amazing victory here tonight at Anarchy. His first title defense with that universal championship. What a matchup and what a moment. Wait a minute. No. Braun Strowman. He's been saying he's coming after Cena for weeks, but it looks like he's got his eyes on Joe. Yeah, his target's changed. Throwing the ref right out of the way. Strowman is mad that Cena beat him in the match to earn this shot against Joe, and he power slams him right by our broken table. Braun Strowman is out of here. Wow, what a statement made. Cena's out cold. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Strowman, what the hell? Roaring in our faces after he just threw that cage wall on Cena. My God. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because right now it's our main event time. AJ Styles versus Seth Rollins. Pure destruction here tonight as John Cena and, and now JBL have been murdered by Braun Strowman. But now it's main event time. We've gone from pure destruction to now pure wrestling. I cannot wait for this matchup. Both men making their way down with their always impressive entrances and the stare down to start this matchup for the World Heavyweight Championship. AJ Styles offering a handshake after everything is put Rollins through. Rollins kicks him right in the hand. Wait a minute. Rollins has him in position. Rip Courtney. Rip Courtney. AJ rolls out. Thank God that match could have been over right there. AJ turns around. Tope Suicida, but he dodged it. Rollins went right into that table. Styles now is heading into the ring. What's he thinking here with Rollins against that table? This match has already gone to a thousand miles an hour here. Styles, no. Don't do it. Don't do it, AJ Styles. Phenomenal forearm. Both men go through the table. Pure destruction to start this matchup. Shane McMahon throwing both men back in the ring before the ref starts counting. We do not want a championship match to end on a countout. Back to square one now. Both men have taken an insane amount of damage as they lock up here against the ropes. AJ Styles... Oh, with a right hand. A bit of a cheap shot there. But Rollins follows it up with a chop to the chest. Rollins now with an Irish whip sending him across the ring. But no, AJ reversed it into an arm drag. Beautiful maneuver there. Rollins now looking for a clothesline. Styles ducks under off the ropes. But he caught himself as Rollins went for a drop kick. Well scouted by Styles. Styles on the outside now. Rollins stops him and sends him face first into the turnbuckle. Pulling him up now. Here comes Seth Rollins. Superplex. Wait a minute, he rolls through. 
Falcon Arrow, beautiful maneuver there. AJ Styles in the cover, kicks out. Beautiful maneuver by Rollins as he's in position now for a springboard knee perhaps, but AJ catches him. Here it comes, Ushigurushi onto the knee. What a maneuver. This matchup has already been insane. AJ throws him back to his feet. Inziguri by Rollins. AJ sta staggering. Pele kick by AJ. And now Rollins, wait a minute, super kick to the face. And he flops right down. Oh my god. This matchup is insane. Everything we hoped it would be. Shane McMahon is puzzled and so are we. Both men back to their feet once again. AJ tackles him down looking for the Styles Clash. Rollins turns it into a jackknife cover here. AJ now reversing it into a roll-up of his own. Rollins back to his feet again with a roll-up here. Who can take advantage but Rollins pulls him up into the buckle bomb. What a maneuver there. Will Rollins capitalize as he's heading up to the middle rope? Phoenix splash, but no. AJ's got him looking for the spin-out powerbomb, but no, Rollins looking for the ripcord again. Backhand, and perhaps he's looking for it. Springboard, reverse, DDT by AJ Styles. Rollins manages to power out, however. What a matchup so far. AJ Styles is back up already, and he's going to the outside. Looks like he's looking for the springboard. Here it comes, 450 splash. Rollins moved out of the way. Devastating landing for AJ Styles. Here comes Rollins, looking for the curb stomp. AJ rolled out. And now it's AJ Styles looking to lock in the calf crusher, but Rollins again gets out of it. Rollins kicks him down, and here it comes, looking for the pedigree. He's hesitating, though. Oh, my God, what's he doing? Oh no, no, no! Oh my god, an inverter breaker! This has got to be it! Oh my god, what a maneuver! AJ cannot kick out. Oh my god, he got his foot on the rope! That should have been three! Holy shit, what a match! Rollins is going up top once again. Here comes the frog splash, but AJ rolls out of the way. AJ, AJ's going over here for the steel steps, setting one of them on their side here. What's he going to be able to do to follow up that invertebraker? That could have broken his neck if he ran, landed the wrong way. No. Not on the steel step. Styles Clash. Oh, Rollins managed to pull out of it. Rollins. Oh, my God. God's last gift onto the stairs. Oh, my God. We haven't seen that maneuver yet from him in UWF. He's looking to finish it off with the Phoenix. Oh, man. Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega is here. He's pointing at Rollins. Shane's telling him to get out of here. Rollins is looking for the Phoenix. AJ caught him. AJ caught him, he's got him in position, Styles Clash! This match is over, AJ Styles is World Heavyweight Champion! Nonetheless, a valiant effort by Rollins, he has nothing to be ashamed about. A Styles sh shakes Shane McMahon's hand and accepts the championship. Look at this, offering the handshake to Rollins, and he accepts, and they embrace. A sign of respect between these two top-level competitors. AJ is the first ever UWF World Heavyweight Champion. Wait a minute, what the hell? Omega just attacked Rollins! Styles is not impressed, he's telling him to get out of the ring. More tension in Bullet Club again here tonight. But nonetheless, Styles is going to be celebrating here tonight the first ever UWF World Heavyweight Champion. We thank you guys so much for tuning in for Anarchy. We will see you soon for Raw Episode 4.